Remember that time I said Ticket Tip Thursday was going to be a thing and then I was going to make videos and there would be tickets and tips on Thursdays? Well, it's back. Let's talk about pods. Wrong pods. We're talking ticket pods right now. What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Travis here on Thumbs Up Run where we're talking about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about ticketing pods. Ticket pods, what are they? How do they work? How do you get them? Can you move them? Can you sell them? Can you keep them? Can you hold them? Let's talk all things ticketing pods right now. All right, first off, ticketing pods, what are they? Basically, it's the way the industry has now moved forward when trying to actually run live events. This way, they're able to get people, you know, socially distanced, spaced out, get more people inside the building, and still make a little bit of money, but at the same time, try and keep everybody safe, secure, healthy, happy, all that good stuff. Essentially, the venues are putting people in what they call pods, basically just little groups of either one, two, four, six, eight, whatever number of seats selling them all together as one purchase. You gotta buy that whole package, that whole section, that whole ticketing pod together. Capiche? Get it? Awesome. Now, it's very simple to see what I've got here. I got my handy dandy phone. Just jump on over into Ticketmaster. We'll go over there, take a look, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to actually, I know for a fact right now, Indianapolis Colts, they're selling their seats in pods. In fact, all NFL venues, which are currently selling seats, are selling them in pods. And what you'll see is that once we actually zoom in, jump into the event, get past the first level of agreements, what you can do, take a look at the map view, and you can see here very simply how they've decided to arrange range the venue in terms of what's available for purchasing and what's not. So what you can see here, there are a lot of circles with across across them basically these seats are not available they have been wiped out completely only seats available are the ones that are you know the gaps in between so you can see there's like a gap of four there another four and a pair of there another four so I'm basically something in fours and twos and you can see up here you go up a bit to a higher section we'll get a different view but essentially same thing you can see here how they're actually arranging these seats they're putting in you know approximately six feet apart between the different sections the different pods not always the case but as you can see sometimes just a row in between people sometimes it's beside each other sometimes it's just you know they're just gapped all far apart from everybody else so it's very dependent on each venue so make sure that when you are buying your tickets take a look at the ticketing map see how they're spacing people out very simply you can see that they're actually spacing people out and they're not selling some seats in between them to ensure social distancing is available to be done at the event fantastic wonderful excellent let's move on so when if I want to go and try and buy a set of seats in a pod I just go ahead click on one of the seats and you'll see what it says here group of four 97 each I click add I clicked on one and if I try then to hit next I will get an error. This group is a group of four, therefore you must purchase all four tickets. So I will then go ahead, add the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and then I will hit next, and then it'll let me check out. Very simply, otherwise you can do it on the list view, same idea, you just search, put your filter in for two or four seats. Generally you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Many venues, they're actually only selling them in pairs or in groups of four. Very difficult to find different denominations right now, as in singles or threes or bigger than four, but you know, it obviously every venue, every event, your mileage may vary, so go ahead, take a look, go through the filters, see what comes up. So very simply, that's how ticketing pods work. Essentially, they're just seats put in a group together. You must purchase all at once so that the buyer who's going is going with people who are all within their bubble and making sure that everybody's you know able to stay safe, have fun, have a good time, go to the event and stay far apart, but close, but far, but close to each other. Now, you may ask, what if I end up deciding that I can no longer attend that event? Can I resell my tickets? Simple answer, yes. More longer and confusing answer, it depends. The whole reason there are pods is to enable social distancing so that whole group is going in together, they're sitting together, doing everything together, they're best friends for life together at that event. If it turns out that you can no longer attend the event and that you're trying to sell your seat, unfortunately if it's just one or two or three of you who are no longer able to go, you have gotta get rid of all four seats together if you wanna sell them. Unfortunately you can't sell those other three seats, you either have to sell all of them together or none of them. That's the only way to do it. The integrity of the pod must be maintained at all times. Capiche? 
can't break it up. So that's pods, very simple, very easy, nothing else to it. Basically, if you buy a pod, you gotta use the whole pod. If you can't use the pod, you gotta sell the whole pod together. That's basically it, that's all. There's nothing else to it, really. It's quite simple. Quite, quite simple, easy, wonderful. Now, NFL does have a few terms and conditions that you must agree to prior to going ahead and actually making that purchase of seats. Go over here and subscribe, you'll just stay tuned, get all the information once that video drops. Otherwise, you'll see it over here once it's ready, and it'll be awesome. Capiche? That's all I got for today, and See you guys!